What's up, guys? Welcome to Man Talk TV, where we talk about everything man-related, everything manly, literally everything <laughs> manly. So we've uh, so we've got a Tumblr question here. Um, Mr. Anonymous has asked, "My biggest problem is getting over the urge. I have some safety behaviors, but I'm always on the edge of just giving in while I do those. If I let my mind ponder for just one second on giving in, I'm done." Some rationalizations that creep in is get it over with and start fresh the next time. Or, if I don't give in this time, the next urge will be even heavier. I try and tell myself it will go away and that it doesn't last forever, but I always give in. How can I stop this vicious cycle? Mm -hmm. So what are, your, uh, what are your thoughts on that there, Seth? Yeah, so uh, Mr. Anonymous, thank you for such a well-articulated uh, question. You know, that's something that I've had thoughts about, but never really had the words to kind of to, to discuss. So um, one thing that you mentioned, uh, I'm going to go ahead and read this, is where you said, uh, if I don't give in this time, then the urge will be even heavier. And that's a classic example of how our minds tend to work against us. Our minds are our best friends and our worst enemies. And uh, unfortunately, if you don't know how to control your thoughts and control your emotions, and more importantly, learn to separate yourself and be able to observe your thinking like, okay, so when you're in the state of, state of mind where you're like, oh, if I don't give in, then it's going to be heavier next time. You need to develop yourself to be able to take a step back, look at that, and be like, okay, that this is an irrational thought. This thought is not of me. It's just happening in my mind. So mm -hmm. um, when it comes to, to urges, um, what helped me was... I initially just made myself so absolutely ridiculously busy that I didn't have time to even think about uh, masturbating to porn or relapsing. Literally, like whatever I had to do to get outside my house, I did. And I find that most people who, who experience urges is because they haven't changed any part of their lives. I mean, you can't just um, can't just stop you know your addiction to masturbation and um, porn by continuing to do the same routines that you normally do. You have to like get out and literally the only way that I could do so was to figure out what my hobbies were, figure out what my uh, interests were and literally every single day I would work towards them no matter what. And when I found the opportunity to get outside of the house, which is more important, change your environment than change the habit, that's when it became apparent to me that, oh, my urges only exist when I'm sitting in my house doing the same things I was doing when I was addicted to masturbation and pornography. Mm -hmm. So um, it's just imperative that you never give yourself the time to think about it. And I know it's, it may not be the best answer to give, but it's the only practical answer that I can give you is become ridiculously busy. Figure out what, what parts of your life that you want to enhance because now you're at the best point of life where you can create from nothing. You know, you've eliminated the addiction, so now you're in the opportunity, the opportune space to create. Like, ask yourself, what is it you want to do? What is it you want to accomplish? And then go for it. Again, um, changing the environment is key, and changing your your daily routines, your habits, the way you do things, breaking the patterns of your environment will help neutralize the urges because you're not going to give yourself the time of day to have those urges. You know. Absolutely. So I have a few points that I can add to what Seth has basically said because he's uh, he's hit on some really important points there. Is in the minimum in the like I'm like you know I'm in the the kind of like the minimalism kind of like niche as well. And what a lot of guys tend to do is they'll actually eliminate their home internet. And by eliminating their home internet, it forces them if they want to use the internet um, to go to the library or go to a coffee shop, and then they can do you know, whatever they need to do on the internet. So if you're always in that type of location, you're not going to be jerking off to porn <laughs> like at the local coffee shop or at the local library. I even did an experiment where I didn't go on my home internet for over 21 days. And so if I wanted to, it, it was still connected to the house because there's still other people here that use it, um, but I wouldn't allow myself to do it. So if I wanted to go on the internet, I would have to walk 10 minutes to the library and go on the internet there. And what that actually taught me was that, you know, I actually became much more focused when I was on the internet because actually I would make a list of things that I would need to do on there. Um, so I'd go there and I'd be able to do it. Also, uh, Seth talked earlier about um, becoming a witness to your thoughts and to be, and to basically observe those urges in your mind is, 
the best way to really kind of train yourself to be the observer is to start a meditation practice. So it could be 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes in the evening. Um, basically, the easiest way to, to meditate is the way that you're going to be most comfortable doing so. So for example, like I sit up against the wall, I cross my legs, and I focus on one mantra for 20 minutes. I set a phone, I set a timer on my phone so that after the 20 minutes is done, I know that it's done. And I just focus on this mantra. So as I inhale, I say bood, and as I exhale, I say do. Bood, do. It's the, the mantra that I learned when I was at a forest monastery in Thailand. So if it's good enough for the monks in Thailand, it's uh, it's good enough for anyone, I think. And it doesn't it doesn't really matter. It's just bringing your awareness back to the breath. Uh, when your mind kind of goes, you know, down some type of rabbit hole where you're just thinking something. And so then that way, when you're actually having those urges in your mind, you're going to be like, you're going to recognize it, the urge for what it is. And that's just some thoughts that are going through your mind. And just be like, you can kind of just, it's much easier to disconnect from it. Yeah. And um, just one other couple of thoughts that I had was, uh, you know, there have been times in my past where, I'll have like this ridiculous urge, like huge urge. And then I sit there and I ask myself, okay, so am I going to give in to the urge? If so, what is this going to bring me? And so I think about everything that it's going to bring me. And then I think about, okay, so what if I don't give in to the urge? What is that going to bring me? And actually, funny enough, I had this happen this morning. I'm sitting in my bed like, wow, I really want to jerk it, but like what's going to happen if I do? What's going to happen if I don't? And what I did was I found another uh, no-fat video that talked about how, you know, even masturbating uh, without porn is going to hold you back. And it just clicked with me. I'm like, yeah, you know, this is going to hold me back. And so what you do is you visualize yourself having not masturbated and then seeing how your day is going to play out then and compare that to what would happen if you actually masturbated and gave in. And it's just like black and white. I'd rather have the energy that I need for my day. I'd rather have the... The, the vitality that I need to get things done than to sit on my bed lethargic and just sit there and be like, oh, wow, I just finished jerking it. You know, just pain and pleasure theory. You know, create more pleasure with, uh, to, uh, create more pleasure to not masturbating than you do to masturbating. You know, it's just a, it's a play of the mind. You got to learn how to control your mind and try little tricks to kind of get you to uh, think better for yourself. Awesome. Yeah, that's uh that's a, that's a really key point. Pain and pleasure is something that Anthony Robbins talks about a whole lot, So, and it's definitely worked for him. Awesome. If you guys have any more questions um, and you want to submit them anonymously, you can do so on our Tumblr account. Uh, like we said on the last video, we should have the new Man Talk TV Tumblr account on, uh, so the NoFap Bros are RIP right now, and, hmm. uh, <laughs> and uh, we'll, uh, we'll upload that soon, and we'll answer any questions that you guys have. Yeah, cool. All right, guys. So, guys, uh, awesome. yeah, we'll we'll talk to you next video. Awesome. 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 Awesome.